Hello, it's me. I was wondering if after all these years you'd like to me to go over everything. They say the time's supposed to heal ya, but I ain't done much healing. Hello. <laughs> that made no sense. I got the verses mixed up. Tajče na mojom kanale. A v tomto video vám poviem niektoré miesta, ktoré som navštívila, keď bola na Slovensku. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will be telling you some of the things that I do when I go to Slovakia. So one of the things that I do recommend um, to do when you go to Slovakia is go to the spa. Um, Slovakia is a country that for the spas they use um, sort of natural water which is awesome. Um, one of the spas that I do go to is the Relax Spa in, in Trnava um, and it's really really good. It has features of any other spa but more it has so many different types of saunas, steam rooms. It has a, a salt room, which is also a sauna, a sauna room. It has a, a dry sauna, wet sauna. It has so much, it has a hot pool, an outside pool. It, it, it just has so much that you can do. And there is a Thai lady who gives the best Thai massages. Like you cannot even, I, I don't even know what to say right now. Like, I went in there um, and I saw her and I was like, oh, she's so cute. She's not gonna be able to do any damage. Never ever underestimate at the power of a little person. She was like getting right in there. She was pulling me back. She was putting me in positions that I was just like, oh my God. It was really, really good. So yeah, the relaxed spa in Tanaba is pretty good to go. Just have a nice little spa session. So the other thing I like doing when I go to Ava is just to go visit the coffee shops. I know that sounds a bit, really, coffee shops, but no, it's, <laughs> the coffee shops are really, really nice. I like how friendly the atmosphere is and how clean it is and the coffee is really good. Um, there are a, a couple that I would, I would recommend, but the one that I really liked that I went to was the uh, Synagogue Cafe in the centre and it used to be a Jewish synagogue. I love the decor inside it, it's, it's really, really nice. I just like sort of sitting there drinking a coffee you will never be short of a coffee shop there are so many yeah the coffee shops are pretty darn good so the other thing that i like doing when i go to tanava is to visit the uh, meshka veja which is basically the uh, city tower it was built in like the 1500s i believe it caught fire um back in the 1600s something and it just um and the roof burnt off um and now it just hasn't it has no roof um but it's really good you have to be <laughs> quite fit to go up those stairs because you have to go up because it's a tower so you go up and up and up and up and up stairs but i believe me it's worth it so when you go up the stairs then you've got a view of the whole of Tanava and you can see the city wall um so yeah it is it is really good to do so it's in the it's in the town square or the uh, <laughs> so the other thing I like doing when I go to Slovakia is visiting the Smolenitsky Zamok, which is the Smolenitsky Castle. I mentioned that there's over 300 castles in um, Slovakia, um, but the Smolenitsky is not too far from Tonava, so I've been there a few times. Um, it is only open to tourists um, to go inside the castle in July and August, so yeah, you have to plan and make sure that you go there. Um, it has a long history owned by various different people, but uh, I know in 1945 it was destroyed in the Second World War, and then reconstructed I think in, 1990, in 1950 or something, um, and now I believe it's kind of like a, a centre for like conferences. I think people can get married there as well, but the um, the ground is absolutely amazing. The history, you can get a guided tour, which we've done, and just hear about the history of it and where it was destroyed, where it was built, why some parts look a certain way. So 
it is absolutely beautiful in there so i would uh, encourage you to go if you if you are looking for a castle that's quite close um to Tanapa. the other thing that i like doing when i go to slovakia is going to high tatra so um high tatra is basically mountains in slovakia so you have high tatra and low tatra last year when we went to visit we actually did a hike of the mountain let me tell you something <laughs> do not go there if you are not fit if like me you are not fit do not just just don't do it <laughs> it is not easy so my husband and um his mum and dad we went together and they were like sort of marching on and we were like well if they can do it we can do it no they are fit af honestly they lie to us i was there at the back going <laughs> Like, and they were like, come on, let's go. I was like, whoa. Do the high tatra, we took the cable car up to the top and there's like a cafe and um, like a, a bar sort of place there. Very, very good atmosphere um, and great, great views again. Amazing views of, of Slovakia, so yeah. Oh, and another one that I, I just thought about, what I like doing when I go to Slovakia is going to the City Arena, which is the city centre. Now, it is a football stadium surrounded by shops. What a girl doesn't like to shop, and that's where I spend probably most of my time and my husband's money. Anyway, guys, that is it. That is just some of the things that I like doing when I go to Trnava. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe and share and comment comment and once again thank you so much for 1200 subscribers i love all my subscribers old and new and i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll catch you guys in my next one bye ciao bye hello it's me I was wondering if after all these years you'd like to me to go over everything. They say that I'm supposed to heal you, but I ain't done much healing. Hello. <laughs> Isn't that like a really creepy song? It's like, hello, can you hear me? I've forgotten what it felt before the world fell out of you. There's such a difference between us and a million miles. <sighs>